that's that is an art. How do you you have a storytelling business now, which I think is incredible. And there is so much research on the fact that we all learn best through stories, right? We're not only captivated by them, but they're just an incredible teaching tool, right? They change our hormones, they, you know, they make us happier. When you have clients who say, wait, I don't have a story or how is my life a story or what do I do? How do I do this? I mean, how do you start mm -hmm. helping people understand what their story might be and how to actually do this? Yes. So I think the first thing is to get over this hurdle that I don't have a story. We all, we, each of us has a story. We have multiple stories. We have so many stories are what make us who we are. So I think first, just getting over that block uh, of thinking, well, I haven't done anything interesting or you know, my life isn't all that exciting. I don't have any stories to share. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. And whatever those stories are, uh, it could be, you know, a, a love story or uh, a wisdom that you cherish or a moment that somehow changed you, however small it might be. Just start by recollecting that. Um, so that's one thing. And the second would be, I think, just if you want to start in your family, just start by sharing stories out loud, say them out loud, whether it's at the dinner table or, or just in the car as you're driving, just start a conversation with a story. Remember the time when, and let the kids chime in and, and let your parents chime in, whoever happens to be there to fill in some of the details and, uh, and the nuances and, and, and get the emotions from everybody and, and just start that practice of, of telling stories as a family. It's so much fun. Um, and then, you, you know, perhaps as I did with the book, uh, you know, I had no idea. We just started this as a blog, a simple, small family project. I didn't know it would last 10 years. I certainly didn't think it would turn out uh, into a book and that I'd be sharing it with all of you tonight. So just start small. It doesn't need to be a book. It doesn't need to even be shared by anyone outside of your family. But just, just jot down a few things. One thing that we did, for example, day one of lockdown last year, I took um, a bowl that was in the kitchen and we, I cut up some strips of paper and I asked the kids and RF, uh, we each would write three things that we were grateful for. That's it, not long sentences, not big stories, just three words of gratitude. Uh, whatever it was, a meal or a walk or a TV show. And, and we tossed it into this bowl. And now it's a year later and there are all these folded up pieces of paper. And I was looking through it the other day. It is a story. It is a story of blessings during the hardest time in our lives as a family. So, you know, that's how you can start just by simple things, but just being conscious of the fact that you're, you're, 